Close your eyes and watch your breath. As you breathe in, know that you're breathing in. When you breathe out, know that you're breathing out. See if you can keep your mind right here and not wander off someplace else. Because the mind needs to be trained. Otherwise, it wanders off and gets into trouble. But if you can get it to do what you want it to do, then it becomes a lot of help. You can focus it on whatever task you see is really worthwhile, and if it sticks with it, then it's much more likely to succeed in that task. If it sticks with it for a little bit, then wanders off to something else, then something else, and comes back here a little bit, and then wanders off again. There's no continuity. Things don't hang together. And the work doesn't pick up momentum. The job doesn't get done. So you've got to train the mind, and this is how you train it. You don't train it with leashes or chains. You train it by making up your mind you're going to stay right here and then stick with it. Keep reminding yourself again and again. You want to stay with the breath, stay with the breath. Any other thoughts that come in, you just let them go. The mind needs to be trained because it's the most important part of our lives. It's the part that determines what we're going to do and say and think. And that, in turn, determines the kind of life we're going to have. So you want to make sure that the source of everything is good. It's well-trained. It does what you want it to do. So it doesn't give in to greed or aversion or delusion. And this is one of the reasons why meditation and generosity and virtue are all counted as forms of skillful ways of looking for happiness. Because they train the mind. Generosity trains you not to be greedy. Virtue trains you not to give in to your anger or desire. And the meditation overcomes your delusion. You begin to see things going on in the mind as they're actually happening. They're not just theories. You actually see what the mind is doing, and you can decide, is it going in the right direction? If not, you can change. If it is going in the right direction, you want to keep it on the path. It sounds simple, but the mind has lots of minds and there, are lots of different intentions, so you have to be careful. Watch out for all the different intentions and see if you can get all the good ones lined up together. That way they become stronger. So make sure that you take some time out to train your mind every day. See if you can stay with the breath for five minutes without thinking about anything else, or at least not letting the mind wander off against after any other thoughts. And then for five minutes you expand it to ten, then fifteen. The more control you have over your mind, the more control you'll have it while you're meditating, the more control you'll have as you go through the day. And that means you won't be giving in to unskillful moods. The moods don't take over. You're the one who's in charge. That's the way you want it to be. You want to be in charge. You don't want these thoughts who come from who knows where come in to take over. You want to be in charge of how your life goes, and so this is how you have to do it. You have to train the mind day after day after day so it gets strong. And then it becomes a mind that you can trust.